Hi guys, I'm going to have another look at this saltwater supercar. I did some work on it yesterday where I converted it from the saltwater fuel cell to one that would take a button cell. And it does run, it doesn't last for very long on one of those button cells. On the box here, they talk about a rechargeable turbo battery with three LED lights, um, which I'm guessing is probably a LiPo battery in the same shell. Now, I had a look at what I've got. I do have a very small LiPo battery there. That's a 351330. 35 is the thickness, 3.5 millimeters thick. 13 will be the 13 millimeters across there, and 30 will be 30 millimeters long. So it's thickness, width, length. Now that I could possibly squeeze in there, but the one shown on there has clearly got a charger on board that you can plug a USB lead into. Well, I do have these chargers. Uh, TP4506, 405, I can't remember the number. Um, which I could just about get the charger in there and then I wouldn't have enough space for the battery to go in there. So that's a non-starter. I could probably get that in there and solder it direct to the tags. Obviously, I'd have to cut a hole in it. And then I remembered I did order some LiPo batteries a while back. 40, 20, 30. So that's 4 millimeters thick, 20 millimeters width and 30 millimeters long. These ones. So they look about the right size. Four millimeters, four millimeters thick is actually the width of that width, the thickness of that already. So we're gonna have problems. Anyway, I went ahead, redesigned that so we can put this in there. So that's gonna fit in there. It is gonna be just a little bit thick because I've left a half a millimetre um, shell on it, so that's actually going to stick out half a millimetre. I don't know for sure whether we'll be able to squeeze that in there. I haven't tried it yet, but we'll try it. Worst case scenario is we crush the lipo and it bursts into flames. So that'll make an interesting video if it happens. I've got some bits of this tin plate, as I called it, left over from making those. So I'm going to fold them around. You can see how I've arranged it. So I'll fold them around so we've got the connections at the end. Solder the LiPo directly onto it. I might solder it. I don't know yet. I might come from that end and come back. Doesn't really matter. I'll do it one way or the other. And then I'll just put a bit of tape over it to stop it coming loose. That's what I found I had to do with that one anyway. Put, put a bit of sticky tape over there just to stop it bouncing out when it hits something. We'll see if that works. Next problem is how do we charge the battery if we're not going to have an onboard charger? And I'm not putting a normal LiPo connector. Hang on. Those would be the typical ones, but I'm not going to bother with that because in my stock of bits and pieces, I've got this thing, a Tronic uh, multi-purpose battery charger. It does ordinary uh, nickel metal hydride. It does lithium ion. 
and it, it does some um, phone batteries. It's got a convenient little arrangement where you've got these two little prongs that you can adjust to fit where your phone battery terminals are. And if they're underneath, you can arrange it like that. And then that bit clamps it in place. So what I'm aiming to do is arrange those so they're the right width to go on the back of there. Obviously making sure I get the positive and negative the right way around. That's fairly important when you're trying to charge something. And that will clamp down and that will charge. It should automatically detect how much voltage it's got to put into it. So we will see. If that doesn't work, then I'll have to 3D print a suitable adapter to slide that into and have an ordinary, well, I could even include one of them in the adapter and that would do the job. Anyway, first thing, bend up some of these bits of metal to go around the end there, solder the legs on and see if we can get it to work. That was an interesting bit of soldering, but it's in there. I will put a bit of tape over it, just to stop it dropping out. And if we hold that in place, looks like we have power. Now, what would have been really handy would have been an on-off switch. Because as soon as I plug this in, it runs. So, if I was going to spend more time on this, then I would look at some sort of on-off switch. And I don't see any way I can actually fit it into the battery case here. There just isn't enough space. So I would have to modify the car. And if I'm going to modify the car, I could have just put an ordinary uh, connector on, on the battery terminals there, or at least replace them with an ordinary connector for the LiPo. And then we could have just plugged it in anyway. But this gives us the, the right effect. Next thing is to see if we can actually charge this as well. I'll put a bit of tape over there before I forget it. And then we'll see if we can put it on that charger that I was talking about. Right, before I commit myself to actually putting that on there, I will just check. I mean, at the moment, I can see the red wire goes to that one and the black wire goes to that one. So that should be positive and negative. And when this goes on there, if we put it that way round, then that is the positive to positive, negative to negative. But I'm just going to uh, have a little measure. No, I don't, there shouldn't be anything coming out at the moment. I'm a bit concerned now as to which way round is correct. Like I say, that's definitely a red wire there. Which I would have taken to be the positive. Because it's vaguely possible it may actually sense it and automatically correct. I'm going to go with what I think and we'll see what happens. We'll be back in a minute. I'm going to have a look at this, see if I can figure out what's going on. All right, at the moment, I think it's doing the right thing. Um, looking at the camera, we can't see. That's actually red. I'm looking through the camera viewer, 
And that appears to be green, but that's definitely red. It may just be the way the, the angle I'm looking at. And if I go across there the right way, You can't quite see that, so we'll come a bit closer, get me wires out of the way. And you might be able to see what we're looking at. We would expect it to be charging at 4 point something. 4.1 we're charging at. And this appears to be flashing. So I think that's indicating it's charging, I think. I could go and see if I can find the instructions for this because I've had it for quite a long time, like everything else. Um, or we could just leave it and see if that goes green or if it all catches fire. Well, it appears to have charged, it's gone green now. Four point one three, it says on there. Let's uh, connect that. Four point oh four. Well, that's going to be good enough for the car anyway. So we'll um, set it up and tether it. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.